Hello and welcome to Austin, Texas, one of our favorite stops on the tour. And today, Daryl K. Royal Stadium is packed and revved up, ready to make noise for the Texas Longhorns. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see, the number 24th ranked team in the country, the Texas A&M Aggies. Taking on the third ranked team, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Aggies will kick this deep to start us off. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Longhorns offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. So here we go. All the energy, the passion, the emotion of the Aggies versus the Longhorns. Why, this is a game that I think a lot of us have watched ever since we were kids. Just a game that used to be around Thanksgiving and a game all of us always look forward to watching. Can't wait to see what happens here today. Got the first down, now looking for more. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Past the 10. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Texas. Boy, Chris, if you remember yesterday, the offensive coordinator told us that he thought if he could get the ball to this receiver, he had a chance to make plays for them. And here we are in the opening drive of the game, first play, they get him the football, and you can see what he can do. And now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open score. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the 5. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Aggies offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense. Here's the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Fires it to the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Good enough for the first down to the 37. Huge gain here by Texas A&M on a perfectly thrown ball and a great play by the wide receiver on the back end. These Texas A&M receivers can hurt you with their speed and execution when they get the ball thrown downfield. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. The sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Rivalry born in 1894, Kirk, but all the twists and turns, the different conferences since then, so much has changed, but... The Aggies and the Longhorns always seem to deliver. Well, it's just so much fun to be able to see these teams playing and, and hopefully playing every year for many, many years to come because it's one of the great rivalries in the sport. To the air, it's Weigman. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. The Aggies are looking to keep this drive going. Looking for some space. It's Moss. But Kirk, how sweet is it to have the Aggies and the Longhorns back together? Realignment has cost us a lot of traditions in the sport, but this one, it's brought back together. Yeah, thank goodness you have a chance to see these teams on the field together. We've missed the rivalry. It's so much fun and one of the great historical rivalries in this sport. They look to throw it here on second down. It's in. 
incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. After the incompletion, the lineup here for third and seven. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Makes the grab. It's Muhammad. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And the Aggies looking to use the up-tempo offense here. And they hand it off to the back. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Now it's second down here. Play action fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back, no hitch in his delivery, gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. Going to run it. It's Moss. Stock right there at the line. No game. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. And he'll drop back here on third down. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And the coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. And that one is no good. And after the miss, still down by seven. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head. The poor kicker. The Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. But the last time out, Texas made just enough plays, and that was a painful loss. Aggie fans have not forgotten. Well, it was a game that really got away from them late. They played well enough to win that football game, but you got to give Texas the credit for pulling it out. We'll see if that can continue today for the Longhorns. Caught behind the line. It's Bolden. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Looking to pass. It's yours. Close to the tight end. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. 
And he'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. Longhorns will come to the line to run the hurry up. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. He breaks through now, has room to run. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Longhorns pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Longhorns will line up on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. He's got it looking for the end zone. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds, but no, he's in. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately, not much of a game. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Off play action. He's looking to throw. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Solid run. They'll bring it bat at the 28-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The Aggies come to the line in the hurry-up. Scanning the field, it's Weigman. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. 
So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Gonna run it. It's Moss. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Here's the second down play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Cut quickly. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense, keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here, or they're going to sell out and bring the pressure. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He lets it go on the move. He's a wide-open receiver complete. It's a big gain across midfield down inside the 35. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. This Texas A&M offense is moving quickly down the field. Play action here on first down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. After the sack on first down, it's second down. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. The offense two for two on third downs in this drive, but this will be tough. It's third and long. Looking downfield, it's Weigman. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Well, the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. Boy, it's third and forever. The defense sits back in what I would almost call like a prevent defense, trying to avoid the big play, and it nearly cost him. This running back picks up a lot of yards. Almost thought he might pick up the first down. But we still do have a fourth down, but at least it's more manageable. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Let's a fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Bolden. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. Chris, what a play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And you think back over the years with Texas going back decades, I always think about running backs and, of course, quarterbacks. But there have been some receivers, Roy Williams and Devin DuVernay, guys like that. There have been others. But, man, plays like this, 
this is what you love to see and kind of creating that new legacy for Texas of having elite receivers. Looking for his big tight end. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. That's a big game across midfield all the way to the opponent's 35. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Receiver in motion now. Takes the handoff. It's Baxter. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. This offense is clicking. And clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Longhorns will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's yours. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. they got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. They call the draw play here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Tay, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Running back has it on a screen now. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment for this important play. And the Aggies will line up to boot it away. And he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They'll punt it from inside their own 10. He'll call for the fair catch here. So the offense with the first and 10 now, the football placed exactly at midfield. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Oh, my gosh. They almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. To the air. It's yours. He's going to take another shot right here. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. Touchdown, Texas. Made the defense look slow that time. 
Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point makes the lead 18 now. Now they get set to kick it away. The turn begins inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Caught on the outside. It's Muhammad. Manhattan's out of bounds after a decent game. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. And I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Dropping back. It's Weigman. He's running out of time here. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure works. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. is Just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. Look at that. He's still going. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. First down and 10 now. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Handoff here from the shotgun. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The Longhorns looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And the wideout goes in motion. Looking to pass here on second down. Pass caught. Can he get in? Stop short of the touchdown, but the offense is set up now first and goal. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So 
So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And they get him down in what will be the final play of this first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Texas A&M and Texas plays out. They get the second half started with the running play. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. The Aggies will crank up the tempo. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Urgency now for the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Back to pass. It's Weigman. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Moves the ball out across the 30, and that's good for a first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Texas A&M getting set with a first and 10 now. Now the handoff. Powering through the defender. They make the tackle, but it's a big game. Ball near midfield, spotted at the 49. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. First and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And the pass is incomplete. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped the ball here. This tight end is known for his hands. The ball's put on the money. Somehow it just goes through his arms. So second and ten after the previous play. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Muhammad. The pickup is nine, so it sets up a third and one now. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. This is the sixth play on the drive. And it's the tight end trying to power for the first down. Looks like Texas A&M will have the first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. On first and ten, looking to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. The defense with pre-snap movement of its own. And the Aggies will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Gives it to the back. And the freshman brings him down quickly.
So it's third and short from the opponent's 28. Let's see what the play call is here. They're already in field goal range, but thinking about the end zone. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable, that offensive line, and they come through for you. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Runs through a tackle, refusing to be stopped on this play. Tackle just short of the goal line at the one. What a run. Oh, come on, ref. Give it to him. What a huge run. He takes it all the way down to the one-yard line. And you can tell, once he got through that second level of the defense, he was thinking, I'm taking this to the house. And he almost did, but brought down just short at the one-yard line. The Aggies looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Texas A&M. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. See if they can convert the point after. The extra point is good. They're down now 14, 24 10. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. The Turner trying to create good field position. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. Tackled right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? A pop pass on the jet sweep. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Caught in the backfield. It's Bond. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. On third and short, they hand the ball off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. The Longhorns will have to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. The last drive, the ground game, was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. And the runner brought down after just a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. 
But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. Didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense, and they better defend this style of play moving forward. Dropping back, it's Weigman. Catch made on the right side. That's good for a first down near the 40. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Texas A&M getting set with a first and 10 now. Looking for a gap, it's Moss. Nice run, he's brought down to the 44. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's green. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving. Trying to secure a victory. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Can he make it to the marker? Looks like Texas A&M will have the first down. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. This Texas A&M offense is moving quickly down the field. On first down, they'll keep the running game churning. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays... I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down play coming up. Back to throw. It's Weigman. Short throw complete to the tight end. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. They're two for two on third down this possession. Here's third and five. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Running back grabs it on a screen. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They're going to run it here. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop it. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Defense cannot get this offense to fourth down. Offense continues the long drive. Looking for a gap, it's Daniels. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Crucial third down play right here. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Takes the football inside the 30, and that's a first down. 
I love it. Third down, the way this back is running, just keep feeding him the football, and he's going to come through for you. And he does here at a critical moment in his football game in the fourth quarter. Nice job. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Moving the receiver around pre-snap. And then first down right back to the running game. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage and you can throw it over top of them. And the long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. So, second down after the incompletion. They'll hand it off. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. And the Aggies come up to the line in a hurry up. Dropping back, it's Weidman. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. Takes the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. The pre-snap motion from the offense. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Man, just complimentary football, really, in a nutshell. They get this football back thanks to their own defense, creating that turnover, working with the lead like this. Really, it's all but over. Now the offense is just thinking about running the football and working that clock. Important second down play coming up. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Well, this is a huge third down coming up here. And here's where that chess match comes to head. And for the defense, they desperately need to make a play if they believe they have any chance of coming back to win this game. So it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. The catch is made for a huge pickup. An explosive play, big gain across midfield to the 42. The linebacker shifting around now. Longhorns have first and 10 here. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that run on the previous play. The back's got it. Not much on that play, brought down short. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense, they're going to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Can he get there on the ground? Powering through. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And the offense will just take a knee. 